Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy Big Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I show you guys how to tame in dark and light. This is going to be my first how-to video, but I play enough of games like this, games similar to this, or games that just have kind of confusing mechanics or things that aren't 100% explained to start with, that I think I'm going to be doing some more how-to series. Anyway, I don't want to talk it up a whole bunch because that kind of frustrates me when I start. Anyway, how to tame in dark and light. So there's a few things that you're going to need. You're going to need to be able to go into your skills, and you need to have your ranged crafting at least up to rank... Two. So what you do is you go and you gather rattan, which I believe is going to be your stuff you'll get with your pickaxe. You can also gather stones. Once you get up to rank one, you'll be able to craft stone tip spears. So you'll craft those. They're a bit expensive with eight wood, twelve of the twine, and two stone. But you can craft a bunch of those up until you eventually can get yourself up to rank two, which will allow you to get the wood bow, the stone tipped arrows, and the stone hook arrows. Now the stone hook arrows are the ones you're going to need. So essentially what you're going to need to do is get to that point. So that's like your starting point. The next point you need to get to is you need to go into your skills and you need to go to taming. And to get your taming up you'll have to craft those hook arrows. They say rope harpoons but it's the hook arrows. Um, and then craft taming knowledge materials. You can't really do that stuff. So essentially you're going to go and you're going to up this skill by crafting the arrows you're going to need. And you need to actually get to rank 1. Once you get to rank 1, you can get a feeding trough. Once you get the feeding trough, you're pretty much set at that point to do your taming. So, essentially, how do you do the stuff? You get to the skill level. I'm just going to type in ARR right here. And then you need 2 hay or straw, 2 twine, and 1 stone to craft some arrows. So I'm going to just craft a few here. I have a bunch on me. Already we have 20... I'm going to craft this up to, let's say, to 30. Okay, so that's also ra raising your ranged skill at this point. So then you go over to the stone hooked arrow, and you need to have charcoal. So you need to burn wood on a fire. You need to have twine, which you can get from your pickaxe, and I'll show you guys how to do that. You need to have the stone tipped arrows first, and then you need to have some of the magical shards available. So, how do you get twine and wood and all that stuff? Um, I'm going to bring up my thing. You look at the bottom of the screen, and I'm going to hit 3. That's my stone pickaxe. You go over to any tree type thing, and you hit it, and you're going to get twine, as you see there. And twine is going to be a big part of it. You also get a little bit of wood, and then you'll break your stone pickaxe because you're a terrible human person like I am, and it's just glorious and great and all that stuff. Okay, pull out our pickaxe again, a little bit more twine. Again, if you switch to the axe, which is what I just did there, you get wood and that's pretty much the stuff that you're going to need. To get stone, obviously you hit the stone mines here, or the stone nodes. You want to use your axe because you'll get stone. If you use your pickaxe, which I'm switching to now, you'll get sulfur. So you want to get the stone, you want to get the twine and the wood, and if you need magic stuff, you're going to bring out your sorcerer's staff. You'll be able to get that pretty early on. You want to use your draining spell. And you'll go to, trees are usually more abundant than stone, and you'll just go and you'll hold your mouse button looking at it, and you'll pull out some of the raw resources plus magic shards, and then it'll dissolve. It's a pretty cool little thing. I like it a lot, actually. I really like the way the crafting is. Okay, so those are the things that you need. So we've crafted a few of the arrows. We're going to go ARR again. We're going to craft some of these stone hook arrows right now. And basically they just convert from the stone tipped arrows to the stone hook arrows. We'll move them up here and you'll see them going. Now the other thing you're going to need is to craft a trough, a feeding trough. TR, bring up the wood feeding trough and I'm going to craft one of those right now. Okay, now that we have all the stuff that we need for the actual taming, we're going to go ahead and we're going to load up our bow with the hook arrows. We're going to pull the bow out of its holster here. There we go. I'm going to get rid of the feeding trough. I don't want to put it down just yet. The only other thing we need to make sure we have is some grass and or blueberries or apples. We have all of those things, so we're actually looking pretty good. Okay, so we have all the stuff that we need. We have found ourselves a pig. This is going to be the thing that we're going to tame, but right now he's actually stuck, so it will not work for us to try to tame him. So what I'm going to do is, hopefully, carefully, I'm going to suck this tree away with the magical spells of awesomeness, which isn't working. We're going to try again. Okay, he's free. He's angry. Anyway, we want to run outside of town. We're going to switch over and pull out 
pull out our hook arrows here. So he's angry. I'm going to lead him over this way. It's a little bit further away than I need to, but I want to make sure that we have room to maneuver and we can actually tame him. So I'm going to kind of bring him out into the open here. Oh, he's lost interest. So let's get him interested again. All right, so basically you shoot these rope arrows and then you pin them to the ground, and this is how you do the taming. It's kind of an interesting game mechanic. I gotta say I like it. And right now I am pretty tanky. He will hurt me some, but not a tremendous amount. So I'm just gonna keep pinning him in over and over. And he's gonna keep charging away and in and out and over and over again. I'm hoping he doesn't aggro my animals that are all over there, because they will aggro. I don't have them on like passive or docile or anything like that. Alright, so he's down. So essentially you need to have enough hooks in him that he'll actually go down. Once he's down, which he is right now, what we do is we go ahead and that, that feeding trough that we crafted, we're going to go place right in front of his, his beautiful, beautiful face. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to open it up. We're going to put blueberries in there, we're going to put some grass in there and some apples. Really, the blueberries are probably enough, to be honest. And you'll see at the bottom he is taming. Now, keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I am on a single-player server, and I have stuff cranked up. So it will more than likely take quite a bit longer for the tame to go through for you guys if you're playing on the official servers. Okay, so after that, what do we need next, you ask yourselves? Well, we need to craft ourselves a saddle. So we go down here to our adventuring skill. We're just going to leave him unnamed. We go down to our adventuring skill and we're going to want to go to writing. So when we click on writing, we take a look. The first rank will unlock the boar saddle. So the best way to do this is just go around gather a bunch of hide. I would probably recommend you get at least rank 1 in writing before you go and you attempt to tame the boar. But rank 1 in writing will allow you, you know, you gather enough hides that allow you to make both a boar saddle and a horse saddle. I have not, fi I have not found a horse yet. I found a unicorn, and there are horses inside of town that you can buy, but I guess you need the saddle to ride them. Now, also, I want to point out another tricky little uh, thing that I learned, and I'll show it to you guys here in a second. I'm going to go with boar, and we're just going to go ahead and we're going to craft that. You see how he's uh, pinned to the ground still, even after he's tamed? Yeah, that's kind of a problem. And the reason that's kind of a problem... Well, um, I'll show you guys in a minute if he stops moving. I'm not sure why he's walking away from me, but he is. We'll put the saddle on him. He's just like, nope, I'm out. Anyway, we're going to hop on him. If you try to ride away while he's hooked up, usually he collapses again. So let's see if I can get him to do that. Nope, he broke free this time. He didn't actually go down. You'll see in the top right over there where it says boar, there's that little like stars over the head. That's actually his like torpor or his like consciousness. So if you had enough tether to him and you try to run away, you could knock him down again. So just be careful. Maybe wait out the tethers before you try to leave with it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you tame in dark and light. And this is my first how-to video. So if you guys have any suggestions on what I could do better, what I could do less of, more of, did I go into enough detail? Did I not go into enough detail? Did I ramble a bit too much? Like, let me know what you guys thought of the video. And I do plan to do more because there are several games that have weird or different or unique mechanics that you might not inherently know how to do something in, like Taming in Dark and Light, for instance, especially if you played something like Ark where you punch stuff to death. I tried that myself. That was not how it worked. Anyway, uh, yeah, I plan to do several more how-to videos, and I would like to do them the best possible way. So... Let me know what you thought. Let me know if there's any way I can improve. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next how-to. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show. And I will see you later.